Hi. How you feeling? Very shaky. <laughs> yeah, everyone seems to have butterflies today. Tell us, you met this guy, it was a whirlwind romance, married yeah. three days later. Yeah. How long he were you together before he disappeared? Two years. And they were great two years? Oh, yes. <laughs> Tell us about Sean. He's very romantic, um, type that can just whisk you off your feet. Um, he makes you feel like you're number one to him and makes you stay that way. You can tell by looking at him, or you used to could, that he really loved her. He's one of those men that really shows it in the way he looks at her. And is it true that you wanted space? Yes. You wanted some time apart. I just... wasn't used to getting a lot of love. I had a bad past, let's just put it that way. And so you said, let's take some space, and he literally took some space, and never, you never heard from him yeah. again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we stayed in contact for a little while. But just one day I went to his work, and he was gone. So. And it's been four years. What have these last four years been like, not being able to contact your husband? I've tried to move on, and no one can she hadn't really stack tried. up to him. <laughs> she hasn't really tried to move on. She talks about him all the time. What do you miss about him? The romance and the love and the caretaking. Well, you know we found him, right? <laughs> you know he's here. He doesn't know who brought him here. But do you think he'll be surprised when he finds out it's you? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you know these two? You do think he will be surprised? Yeah. Well, we'll have a little fun with him. We're going to send you off to catch your breath. And we'll see you in just a few minutes, okay? Good luck. Good luck. I sure hope he remembers you. All right. Let's bring Sean out. Sean, when you can hear me, come and join us. Hi, Sean. Hello, Ricky. It's great to have you here. Everyone who comes out is like a deer caught in the headlights today. <laughs> I know this must be really odd. You are in the dark. You don't know who brought you here, but you do know someone wants to see you real bad. Yes. Do you have any idea who it might be? I don't have a clue, Ricky. Really? God, that must feel weird. So um, what is your, st is your status right now? Are you single? Are you married? What? I'm single. You're single? <laughs> and I would imagine looking for love. I'm sorry? Looking for love. If I can find it, yes. John, are you ready to see who brought you all this way? Yes, Ricky. Well, you know what? Get ready for two more minutes, all right? Hold that look. We're going to take a break. Sean is desperate to know who wants to reunite with him today, but he's going to have to wait just a little bit longer to find out. Can I give him one clue? Well, the mystery person is even more desperate to see him than he is to see them. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Sean is ready, I believe to find out who brought him here. Let's bring him on! Everyone who comes out is like a deer caught in the headlights. Yeah, that's my cool with me. But yet you're too afraid to call her. Yeah. Okay, you like that she could fight like a man. You like that? Yeah, I like that. Tasha, come on out! Are you so tired of dating losers that you're willing to let your mom set you up on your next date? If you're an adult who's willing to let your mom pick a date for you, you could be a guest. Call 1-800-GO-RICKY or log on to www.ricky.com. Picture this, you tuning into an amazing career. The Toronto Film School will prepare you for an exciting career in digital... New Glade plug-in scented oil fan. Freshness with a spin. Plug it in, plug it in. S.E. Johnson, a family company. Visit Glade.ca for special offers. For sexy St. Louis ladies, compete for this rapper's delight. If we were to give her just one compliment, could you come up with one? <laughs> if you was like me, you'd be cool. Nothing like ringside of the cat fire. Next to limit date. Tonight at 10 on Omni 2. Say 
the thing they want more than anything in life is to be reunited with a very special person from their past. Sean is ready, I believe, to find out who brought him here. Are you ready? He's ready as We're ready, aren't we? Yeah. Let's bring him on. Come on down. <laughs> Sean, you do know this person? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Who is she to you? She's my ex-wife. Uh oh. You, there's a little discrepancy here because you say you never divorced. Right. Ah, it's just a label anyway, right? <laughs> what do you have to say, Amanda? You wanted him here. What do you want to say to him? I've missed you through the whole time we've been gone. Nobody stacked up to you. I just wanted to know if you've moved on or... I've never found anybody else like you. Oh. Is that what you wanted to hear, Amanda? Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask Sean, where'd you go? What happened? Seems like you had this whirlwind, immediate connection. You married three days after you knew each other. Is that right? Yes. And where'd you go? Both of us were just too young to really realize the commitment that we were making. And, and so we drifted apart. And I went back to Arizona and just lost contact. Have you ever stopped thinking about her over these four years? Never. Well, you know, there's someone else here that also loved you very much and has missed you. Let's bring on that person now. Come on out. <laughs> Cordelia, well, this is very much a dream come true for you. What would you like to say to Sean? You ready to go home? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. What do you think, Sean? What happens from here and now? I don't know. <laughs> Where are you guys now? Still We're in still Nashville. Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to me he might need a little bit of time, but this is a connection you were hoping to make, Sean? Oh, yeah. This was, this was one of the ideas that I had thrown out when I was trying to think of who it could be. <laughs> Yeah, your ex-wife or your wife, whatever the case may be, would be a good place to start. Amanda, are you happy? Yes. I'm almost speechless. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Keep in touch with us, will ya? All right, coming up, a woman who only spent four days with the man of her dreams, but it was enough to convince her that he was Mr. Right. She has been fantasizing about a reunion ever since. But is her dream guy still available, or has he moved on? Find out when her best friend reunites them after this. When I met him, we clicked so well. He told me he was in love with me. Why'd you lose touch? Do you think about who really wanted to see you this badly to call the show and bring you here? Um, Lollavy. Who? A girl named Lollavy. Yes, it's not Lollavy, but do you know who it is? Yes. Let me test you on that. What's her name? Closed captioning of this program is brought to you in part by... A whole lifetime to decide. Fantastic! For a limited time, there's the Cash for Life 2004 Cash Blowout. Over $26 million in prizes. Collect to win one of a thousand prizes of a thousand dollars. Cash for Life. Play now. Win for life. Next week, somewhere warmer, huh? You thought your best friend's man was cheating. Would you break them up? Who thinks she can do a lot better? I know she can. If I'm unfaithful to one, I can be faithful to another. Once they find out the truth, our therapist will help them make the tough decision. Do you think you can trust them? What's a girl to do next week? Has your family disowned you because of something they think you did? If you want to take a lie detector test to prove you're not guilty and end the feud, you could be a guest. Call 1-800-GO-RICKY or log on to www.ricky.com.
Welcome back. Our guests say they made the biggest mistake of their lives when they let the men and women of their dreams walk away from them. But they are hoping to reignite their passion with them today. Now, so far, have we made a love connection again, do you think? Yes? yes? Are they getting it on tonight? Yes. We'll never know, will we? Our next guest, Krista, says her best friend, Charmaine, is 100% convinced that her lost love, Kevin, is the man she was meant to be with, even though she only spent four days with him and hasn't seen him since. Charmaine, tell us about Kevin. Kevin is everything. He, when you meet him, you just, you know that he's a great person. He's a great person. I don't know. He, when I met him, we clicked so well that he st extended his stay in Canada. I'm from Canada, and he extended his stay there for me. For three more days? Yes, and he stayed with me the entire time. I just guessed that. <laughs> wow. Okay, so it was a total of four days. Yeah. So tell us about your first meeting. Um, he was actually going to buy chapstick, <laughs> and I had been sick for some time. My friends were going out, and they convinced me to go out with them. And so you went out with them? I went out with them, and <laughs> when we get out, uh, this guy walks into the club that we were in, and it was him, and I couldn't stop staring at him. There the way he put him. on his chapstick. Yeah. A? A. I knew the A was coming. I knew that was coming. <laughs> um, so anyways, he just... I met him at another club, actually. We left, and I never thought I'd see him again. I didn't talk to him at the first club. And um, we went to another club, and we were dancing, me and Krista and some friends. And she actually told me, you know, he's looking at you. So I turned around. We smiled at each other. She knew he was looking at her. And she was looking <laughs> at and him. And is it true you her. shoved her into him? Uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, What are friends for? That's right. <laughs> Maybe it's the Canadian thing I to, to do, huh? Happy. So, okay, so what happened? Well, we started talking, and we went off to the side where it was a little quieter, and we talked, and he actually kissed me. Um, and I'll bet with the chapstick and all, it was really nice. The thing with the chapstick, he was going to buy some because he was in Canada, and it was wintertime, so it was a little dry and everything. And Let me guess. He, got, he bought the medicated kind, didn't he? <laughs> the I'm eucalyptus. Not sure. I'm not sure. So, okay, so, so you had this connection at this club, he decided to extend his stay. Why'd you lose touch? Um, we talked for about a month after he left, and he just, he called me every day. Sometimes we talked two or three times a day. And at the end of the month, he received a phone bill that was, I believe, $1,100 or more. And my phone bill was getting pretty high, too, because when he wasn't calling me, I was calling him. And uh, we just gradually said that we would talk a little less and things like that. And then it just led to not talking at all. And, he called me once since then, and we talked for maybe 20 minutes, and I moved away, and I haven't been able to get a hold of him or talk to him since. So what's that been like for you? That's been really hard. He, when I stopped talking to him, it was just, I, don't, I was constantly talking about him to my friends, and I wondered where he was, and I wanted to know, you know, if he really felt the way he felt, because he told me he was in love with me. He talked about things in the, like, in the future to come, like that he would love to be with me just So you forever. have never been able to move on and meet somebody else? No. And no. Krista, what's that like for you as her best friend? Drove you just want to know, is it going to happen or can she at least close this yeah, chapter and move on? Definitely. Like I thought, actually I didn't know that they were going to keep on talking like they did after he left. I thought maybe it was just going to be a one-timer and that after he got back to Bermuda he wasn't going to call her again, but oh, Oh, he's he from called. Bermuda? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, no wonder it was $1,100. Yeah. That's a long way away from Canada. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, well, you do know the good news is he's here. I didn't know that, but yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your smile just got that much bigger. Well, the not-so-good news is he doesn't know that you brought him here. Oh, well, that's not bad news. He'll be happy. That's not bad news, but it's nope. just not, you know, you think he'll be happy. He'll you be are... more than happy to see me. Really? Well, I hope you are right. We I would love right. to have another love connection here today. We're going to send you both off, talk to him. We'll bring you back, okay? okay. Good luck, Charmaine. <laughs> all right. Well, Kevin came all the way from Bermuda to be with us. Without further ado, let's welcome Kevin. Hey, Kev. 
I don't reckon. You know, we're we're all kind of happy that you're here. Yes, good to be here. How's it going? Good. good. Yeah. Yes. You feeling you feeling good? I mean, it must feel weird to be here on the show and not know why or or who brought you here, huh? Yes, most definitely. Do you, I mean, do you, do you think about who really wanted to see you this badly to call the show and bring you here? I had one person in mind. One person? Yes. A girl? Yes. Who? <laughs> and, um, Lollivy. Who? Uh, a girl named Lollivy. I met her when I was in the military. Um. And, uh, you know, from that reaction, it could be her, it could not be her, right? Yes. So, um, are you presently single and available? Yes. You are? Yes. Looking for love? <laughs> and you say if it was the right girl, you would be willing to start a relationship? Yes. Yes. All right. Well, you know, if it doesn't work out with the one who wants to be reunited with you, hey, uh, maybe someone in the crowd went, <laughs> might be open for it. All right. Well, Kevin, with... Are you ready to find out who brought you here? Oh, yes. All right, let's see if it's Lollavy. Come on out. How you doing, all right? Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi, okay. Yes, it's not Lollavy, but do you know who it is? Yes. Let me test you on that. What's her name? Charmaine. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. Uh, Charmaine, what do you want to say to him? Here he is. I have missed you like crazy, and you called me a little while back, but we never kept touch again, kept in touch, and I don't know. I just, I wanted to let you know that I feel like you just slipped through my fingers, and we had a really great thing, and... I just, I've been missing you, and I wanted to see you, and if you're with somebody, then that's great. I'm happy for you. You're a great person. Um, if really you're not? Nice. If you're not, <laughs> I, I really want to keep in touch with you regardless either way, because you were really a great person to me, and I care a lot about you. Yes, that nice to you. <laughs> So, uh, Kevin, come on. Have you thought about her over this time, this course of time? Yes. Yes? yes. So yes. any chance you could reconnect, maybe? We could um, work on something, work on something. See what All happens right. from there. All right. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for being here. All right. Hope you're happy. All right. Up next, the guy whose best friend has spent three years pining for a girl and talking about her every minute of every day. He says no one is more obsessed with making the reunion happen than him because he can't take it anymore. We'll meet him next. This here is the only week good enough for... Need to know. Our guests are convinced they blew their big chance at love when they let certain people slip away from them, and they are just as convinced that reuniting with them will give them the second chance they have dreamed about. Now, Christy, you just saw your friend reunite with her man, yeah, her Finally. Bermuda babe. Uh, how do you think it went? I think it's looking good. But you think it went well? Uh, I think so. I hope yeah? so. Yeah, how you doing? You still got a big smile on your I'm face. Good. Yeah? Yeah. And She'll you're good too? Right All right, just making sure Kevin's okay. All right. <laughs> Our next guest is Michael. Michael says he's almost more passionate about reuniting his friend Brent with his lost love, Tasha, than Brent is because he is so sick of hearing him moan about her. Michael, tell us the story. Uh, well, it started about three years ago. We was in job call. He met this female, Tasha. You know we that is Tasha. the best place to meet women? Oh. Yeah, you meet a Seriously, lot of Seriously, we hear about it all the time. They come and go. Okay, so you tell us about lot. Tasha. Huh? Tell us about Tasha. Oh, well, he met her about three years ago in Job Corps. We went on a basketball tour with the Job Corps, and um, we seen her at a game. So I, I told him to approach her, you know, because she caught my eye, so she should have caught his too. But being like, yeah, he's scared of him. I put him on her. You know, they start talking. And 
he got kicked out. You of made the, it happen, didn't you? Yeah, something like that. I, you know, I hooked him up. You know what I'm saying? So we went to we went to our game and we got in a little fight. You know, in Oklahoma, they were kind of hating on us. So he got kicked out and they lost contact. Now that he's been was trying it. to find it ever since. Ah, but he did get her number, didn't he? Yeah, but he's scared to call. What do you mean? He's scared but to yet, call. You've been hearing about this girl every day since. He's scared to call. You're so kidding. So I called you and set it up. Now it's time to make this happen. Man. Ah, after all you do for him and he can't just he gonna be make right. it happen? He gonna be all right. Yeah? You believe that this connection is meant to happen? Oh, yeah, it needs to happen. If it don't yeah. happen, I'm gonna be mad at him. You will be. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the last time you're gonna try for him, huh? I'm getting tired of it, man. Hey, how go how long has now. it been since he's been, he's been talking about her? Oh, he talked he talk about it last night. I, I ain't sleep. I've been up for about 48 hours. <laughs> I'm sorry for you, but I'm glad that it's finally come to this. Well, it's time to meet your friend Brent well, and yeah, hear why he is so in love with this woman, Tasha. Brent, come on out. Hey, Brent. What's up? So you have been thinking about this girl for over three years. Yeah. What is it about this woman? Man, she just kept it real with me. When I got in there, they fight in the tournament. She was the only one fighting. She was fighting like a dude taking that from me. <laughs> and and oh, that yeah. must have been really hot. Yes, ma'am. So, yeah. okay, but yet you're too afraid to call her. Yeah, because I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if she moved on, if she got a baby. I don't know none of that. She got married. Or she got yeah, married. You, you have to know, Brent. <laughs> yeah. You don't know until you try That's to find right. out. I know, man. It's hard. Come on, you must feel indebted to your friend here. Oh, yeah. It's my dog. It's my, it's my people right there. Tell us about her. So, okay, you like that she could fight like a man. You like that? Yeah, I like that. What else she, did you like about like her? She's like my best friend. It's the only person I could really talk to. Just say your soulmate, man. Yeah, that's, that's my soulmate. Soul that's yeah, my soulmate. That's soul him all we the way. We keep it real. We keep it real with one another. So have you kept it real with anyone else over the last three years? No. No. I'm gonna be honest, no. You, you've been pining for this woman. You've been fronting yeah. and stunting. <laughs> so today is the day. How are you feeling right Ooh, now? I'm nervous. You are? Oh, yeah. I'm nervous. I ain't sleep for about three days now. Like you said, I kept him up all night talking. Talking about how she beat those dudes up, right? Yeah. Are you shaking inside? Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, I'm she nervous. is here. But we're going to send you away for just a few minutes wow. while we talk to her because she right. doesn't know that you brought her here, okay? <laughs> All right. Wow. All right. I want to see. All right. Keep it real. All right. Yeah, keep it real. I want to see. Right. Well, Brent is crossing his fingers and hoping that Tasha will be just as excited to see him as he is to see her. Is he headed for a disappointment or the reunion of his dreams? We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. you thought your best friend's man was cheating, would you break them up? Who thinks she can do a lot better? I know she can. If I'm unfaithful to one, I can be faithful to another. Body detector time! Next trick. I'm good. You seem fine. Are you uh, nervous? Nervous and anxious. And anxious? Yeah. Oh, is there anybody in particular that you're hoping wants to see you today? This is the one guy that I went to school with. Yeah, what was his name? Brent. 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 Why him? Because, I mean, we had a good relationship. He was the first guy that, like, ever gave me all his undivided attention. And, and I, you know, me and his mother had a good re relationship, too. So. Yeah? And so what happened? Why'd you lose touch? <sighs> well, he had to leave school, and, you know, I tried to keep in touch, but I couldn't. All the only number I had was, like, his neighbor's number that stayed across the street from them. And one time I called, and, like, she told me that his mother died, and I was just, you know, but I couldn't find him. And so I tried, you know. You did try? I did. I oh, did. so you'd really hope to see him today? Uh-huh. Yeah? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So are, uh -huh. are you single? Are you available? Y'all gonna laugh. 
but the boyfriend I had, he dumped me right before I came to the show. He told me if I was going to New York, then I was going to be single. So I said, okay. <laughs> You know what? For potential true love, sometimes you need to take a risk. That's right. That's right. And he wasn't worth it anyway. No. Are you ready to see if it's Brent who brought you here today? Yeah. Hold on to your chair, honey, because <laughs> here he comes. <laughs> This is the Brent you were talking right. about, right? right? Right. Well, Brent, what do you want to say to her? Man, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> man, I've been everywhere looking for you. Man. I went all the way to Dallas for a whole week looking for you out there. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you know, he, he, he's been thinking about you every day for every the last day. three years. I don't know what you did to him, honey. Hey, but well, I do you know, know you can fight you know, like a I man. I have charm like this. Huh? I have charm like this. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what would you like to say to him? I'm glad to see you. You're glad to see you. And me. I miss you. You miss me? Mm. Oh, <laughs> I miss you too. Oh. And, and you're newly single. Mm-hmm. My boyfriend dumped me before I came. <laughs> he said if I came to New York, I was coming single. So, you know, I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> We are so happy to hear that, and Brent, you look really happy. Oh, yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> and I know your friend is happy. I a question for the guy in the front. Where did you go for four years? Sean, yeah, where'd you go, Sean? I went back to Arizona. Back to Arizona, yeah, you know, it's a very small place, Arizona. You can easily find someone. Just, just walk around there. You went back to Arizona. Are you guys going to get back together? Uh, we're going to try. You're going to try. Well, that's all you can do is try. We'll be right back after this. Closed captioning is brought to you by... It's just... www.ricky.com Oh, shucks. Just enough time to thank all of our guests for being here, for sharing their stories. Love is a powerful thing, and you can't have any doubts about that after hearing how long our guests held on to their feelings for their former lovers. But whether they got the second chances they'd hoped for or not, they should all be applauded for their willingness to lay their hearts on the line. After all, it really is better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Aww. Thanks for watching. See ya. Promotional fees have been paid by the following. Remember when hair removal hurt? West 26th Street, 4th Floor, New York, New York, 10001.